Hey, what's going on, everybody? Let's do uh, paperboard part two. Look, I uh, got all the coin door parts. I took apart the controller as much as I could. Um, I punched that pin out, but my punch wasn't long enough, so I got to grab another punch that's longer. Um, what we're going to do tonight um, <clears throat> is I'm going to try and clean up this control panel overlay. Uh, it's original, so it's a little bit of wear here. But I think uh, maybe I, I'm going to try and clean this up. So that's what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to try and uh, clean this up with a little bit of cleaner. Uh, what I use is, uh, you know, just basically simple green to get some of the dirt off. And then I'll finish it off with some Novus 1. So what we're going to use is uh, your typical magic eraser. And we'll see how this turns out. All right. Be right back. All right, so we're all set up here. So basically, I'm just gonna uh, take some simple green and sp spray it down. I did uh, clean up a little bit of the rest around here with some 220. So if I want, I'll probably tape this off and then just just hit it with some spray paint. So. We'll get this first layer of dirt off. We'll see how good we can get this. I don't know if you can see it here. I'll just kind of zoom in. Maybe we'll start with his face, some of the lighter colors, so you can see the difference, if, if at all. You can just see the dirt kind of rolling off. So you just want to work this magic eraser very lightly. You don't want to go too hard. You will. Th this is sandpaper. So this is a very, very fine grit sandpaper. There. Back in the corner there. I did wipe this down a little bit. But usually, uh, just a little bit of elbow grease you can take that layer of dirt and make these colors come back to life. I could, uh, I could buy an overlay and strip it, but this one doesn't look half bad. I'm gonna try and get away with it. I figured just say, hey, what the heck? Let's just try the magic eraser first. Let's see how clean I can get it. Uh, cigarette burn. Siggy. Yeah, like, uh, I'll back this out. Like over here, it was pretty dull white. So let's just see how white we can get it. Like I said, this is sandpaper, so you have to be very careful with it. You don't want to go too crazy. It'll, it'll start, it will take the colors off. But if you go lightly, it should uh, brighten up. off so today I started taking apart the controller and everything seems to be coming apart nicely I ordered uh, a set of gears for for this for the controller from uh, Paradise Arcade so they have a 62 uh, 3 printed uh, gear with an aluminum bearing but not bearing but attachment there it's aluminum and plastic uh, 
and then the 14 gear tooth they uh sell that's actually all aluminum and not plastic so when i took it apart the uh the gear just fell apart it just broke so i figure this thing is not fun to take apart so i figured uh i'm just gonna order all new ones it wasn't cheap it was 90 bucks for the set of four And then I hit up Milestar from Arcade Fix It and got the springs coming. I think what else I need? Uh, the base is, is broke. I'm going to hit up my buddy Sean Martin. I'm saying Sean Martin like you guys know him. But yeah, he's a really cool guy uh, that I used to work with. Helps me out with all the manly stuff like welding. good to know people that actually have different skill sets because with this arcade hobby like really <laughs> you need to be fully just electronics woodwork it, it just does the whole gamut electronics woodworking welding metalworking common sense which i lack some of that with that so to the right side pretty boring but i found uh, some of these videos that i've seen pretty helpful as far as tips and tricks on how to get some artwork cleaned up so i don't know we'll see uh, how this works out is here. Yeah, you can kind of see where I went a little bit too hard here. It's kind of reflecting there. far with this magic eraser we'll see cigarette burn was <clears throat> yeah I don't know I'll have to see exactly where that fits see if I can cover all this grease where the actual controller is going to sit if it's going to cover that up or not Why? 
tires. Yeah, it'll it'll cover most of it. Look right there. I don't know, maybe I should get another overlay, but I wanna, most of the time I'm always trying to go new, 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 repo, 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 but I don't know, this, uh, it's hard to find these, this thing in original condition. Some people prefer, you know, an untouched, unmolested game. So, which I'm, more and more beginning to uh, respect. It's kind of like having a Chevy, old school Chevy. Do you want one all rebuilt with a LS1 in it and a modern suspension or do you want something that's original and drives like shit? I don't know. I think I went too hard with the magic eraser. I can see some of the scratches in it. So. Or you might even say, hey, I can't even tell the difference. But Yeah, we'll see. I guess my, uh, the only thing if I had to leave you with anything is just Go light with this. So like this is all color faded. It's not bright red. Most of this stuff you won't see once the lights are out and you're playing in, in, the, in your game room. We'll see, so. Yeah, more than likely, I'm just gonna replace this huh, after this, but uh, this bracket I have, it was in the bottom of the cab, it goes here. So I'll get that welded as well when I do the control panel. So. That's about it. Sorry, there's no glorious ending. So, I mean, it does look a lot brighter in person, so, but it's still original. You only get original once, so kind of decide of how much original do you want. I prefer, you know, something that looks original but plays great, so hence any type of repo uh, controllers and not necessarily repro controllers, but repro, anything repro that makes the game work 100% like it used to, I'm all game for. So, all right. That's it. Another exciting video. I'll uh, go ahead and post up another video here in a week or so when I get some more parts in. Hopefully, I can uh, all have that welded up and ready to go and back together I'll try I'll probably try and video of putting this back together there's no there's no videos online of taking this controller apart it's not too hard it's just it's just awkward so and it's it would be boring you know punching trying to sit there heat up heating up all those punch pins so but I got all the parts in here soaking so. all right thanks for watching uh, that's about it. Have a good night. Later.